Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another Norco achievement guide. And this time I'm going to be showing you how to get the Philly Sip and Cats and Dogs achievements in one playthrough. So basically, if you do this little mini game here with the cat in sappy paperbacks, um, and you don't save, you will actually void getting the cats and dogs, you'll actually be able to miss getting the cats and dogs achievement later on in uh, Act 2. So I'm just going to show you how to get both achievements in one playthrough. So as we speak to Erika in Sappy Paperbacks here, what's going to happen is eventually we're going to be, uh, we'll have the choice to stroke El Kitty. Now what's going to happen is he's going to give us a little mini game. Now obviously this is a, about 30 to 40 minutes of the way through, so you should have had some inkling of how to do the Glyph mini game by now. The sort of Simon Says copy in Glyph mini game by now. Very, very, very highly important here to make a save. If you want the two achievements in one playthrough, highly important here to make a manual save before you interact with the cat. But this is all you're going to do then. So, it's going to be five of these mini games in a row. Of course, as you can see, three, one, two, very easy to start off with. They do get a little progressively more difficult, though. In terms of, they will be at least, by the end, at least six glyphs on screen, and they get a little bit quicker as well. Um, the only way that I can really give you sort of any advice is, if you're not good at sort of um, keeping up with your eyes, try and uh, say the numbers as it goes. So for me, two, four, so two, four, one, three. So then I know it's two, four, one, three. It, that's the only sort of bit of advice I can give for these. Um, if you do end up failing one of the glyphs, one of the glyph mini games here, you will actually have to sadly start from the beginning. And annoyingly, it is random each time as well. So hopefully you can get, uh, you can just smash out these this glyph mini game first. Again, you'll have to do five in a row to get the Felicet achievement there. But get ready for some hilarity that comes along when you do it. Ah, oh, Erica is fuming. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but the cat's hilarious. So, obviously, what we're going to do now, once you've got the achievement, hopefully you would have made that manual save just before. So, of course, what we're going to do now is go ahead and reload that manual save. And that's it. again, it is highly important that the cat, before you leave this area, it is important that the cat is in the store. As long as the cat's in the store and Erica's looking a lot less pissed off, then we can just crack on. And then a little bit later on in Act 2, uh, what we're going to do, basically, we're going to head to Dime's Discount. It's about halfway through Act 2. Head to Dime's Discount. Don't worry, we're not fighting the cocaine uh, homeless undertaker. We're going to the Batur. And you're going to meet this guy called um, Heru, <laughs> the Alcoholic Santa Claus, as it were. So, lucky his name is. Uh, what we're going to do then is basically find his dog for him, which is always nice. But again, like I said, if you uh, got the Felicit achievement earlier on, and the cat's not in the store, you will actually miss this achievement. So hopefully you've done that, and the cat was in the store in Act 1. Now we can go ahead and grab the dog food from the gas station. So heading back, we're going to grab, go inside the gas station. The dog food is going to be just to the left of the door. There it is, so right on the shelf, so make sure to pick it up. And then of course you can't steal it because you're such a nice person, aren't you? You don't steal things. So grab it from your inventory, drag it over to the price scanner. And the kiosk is going to be like, thank you, I can't catch you even if you decide to steal it, but uh, there we go. Right, now we're going to head outside. <clears throat> and now what we're going to go is actually go and find the dog. So, head to the overworld, the sort of overworld map, and go to the sappy paperbacks once again. Remember we got the Felicit achievement earlier on, but before heading inside, you can see the dog outside, which you might have noticed earlier on. So now you can go ahead and just uh, basically try to pet him, and he is going to look pissed off. He looks like he wants to tear your nuts off and make him into frosted shreddies. But all we can do then is just feed the dog, and incredibly, he goes from wanting to twist your nuts off to, uh, I'm a good boy. And then what we're going to do then, after we fed the dog, and again, make sure that Pots the dog is in your party, go inside, speak to Erica first. Now, the only reason I say speak to Erica first is just to see if you can get any more mind map information. Uh, so just go through all the dialogue or whatever it is that you're doing with Erica for the time being. Basically, it's all going to come down to uh, <laughs> making the cat um, fly up through the ceiling again. That is the whole point of these two <laughs> achievements. 
Ah, poor cat. Well, they haven't done to you except, you know, scram you in the sad, scram you in the happy, bite you in the happy and sad. Uh, but they are little cute little fluff balls, aren't they? So after you've spoken to Erica, then, what you're going to do is just interact with Potts the dog in your party there on the left-hand side. And... <laughs> again, he's going to crap the cat up. The cat's going to go through the roof. Erica's going to be extremely pissed off. And that is how you get the uh, Felicit and Cats and Dogs achievement. <laughs> so there it is. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. Big love. That's a funny one. I'm, are you happy now? <laughs>